Hey guys, how's it going? Sam from Taco here, back again with a little bit of a quickie unboxing, I hope. We're doing Bo Furry, I Don't Wanna Get Hurt, so I'll max out my defense. Season one, limited edition, of course, with a Funimation digital copy, which we will tweet out on our social medias. As always, at the Otaku on Twitter is where it'll be tweeted out at. Of course, on the front, we got Maple and Sally, and then you can see this is a beefy boy because they actually have a really cool item in here that I think is unique to this, and it kind of fits the theme of the show, which I hope more do. On the back, a little bit of a spoiler. Uh, we'll look at that at the end so we can take a look at what's inside. This is all the goody stuff. If you've never gotten a limited edition before, usually if they have an extra cardboard box, that's where all the, the goods are. And then this, of course, is the actual disc and the behind the scenes. So let's open this thing up. We'll start with the most boring things first, which is the disc and the behind the scenes booklet. And then we'll check out the goodies that come with this limited edition. So the set is actually normally $90. At least that's what it says on the website. You could usually get it on sale for about 68, which is a much more reasonable price. And that's probably the price it'll stay at the whole time. So these are usually held together, but just like a little bit of that sticky gunk. Um, don't currently remember their names, but I'm sure we'll see it in the behind the scenes. Oh, I ripped it. <gasps> <Ugh>. <laughs> Why was that held on so well? Oh, heartbreak. Learn from my lessons, guys. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. That's cool and fun. Yeah, I love that. Ooh -hoo. This gunk shit sucks. Why do they even gotta put gunk on it if it's in plastic? That's stupid. Anyways, uh, man, the front side of this looks really good and so does the, you know, the side of it. Oh, look at the top, all the weapons and stuff. The bottom, we don't need to look at the, you know, back side of it anymore. Who actually cares about the back side? So I do like the very simple kind of front with Maple and Sally. I kind of like the running theme of the nice pink. It makes it look really clean. And then Bo Furry art book. This should usually have all the characters. So let's start from the beginning. We'll take a quick look through, of course, Maple, Sally, Kasumi, Kanade, uh, Yui and Mei are their names. Then Karomu and Liz, and those are kind of all the main characters. Then you have the opposing people, the Flame Emperor's Guild. Order of the Holy Sword. I'm just gonna start flipping through, you know, if you want to take a closer look yourself and kind of read it. Buy the limited edition, highly suggest. Um, and pro tip, be careful when taking off the uh, goods box because hot damn, that will rip the back of your case, which is I've never had happen before in any other limited edition. So first time for everything. Hope you guys are enjoying that. These are usually my favorite ones where you get to see kind of the, be the actual behind the scenes of like, here's like them designing the characters. Here's what they look like. And it comes with a light novel, which is, seems to be a reoccurring thing that a lot of limited editions are doing. They usually have like an extra little manga chapter or a light novel that goes along with it as well, which is very cool. Then opening it up and taking a look inside, you can see we got the full cast on the inside. And of course we have the season one Blu-ray episodes one through seven. Then we have season one Blu-ray episodes eight through 12 with special features. And because we're still in the weird transition phase, it's also a DVD. So episode one through six on this DVD and then episode seven through 12. And it looks like minus the special features on the DVD, which is not surprising if you've bought any Blu-ray combo limited edition stuff. Okay, moving on. I just realized you guys could have just read what was on or all the special stuff inside because I left it just laying there. That's the kind of strategy I employ. And this is the cool thing. All right, so I've never seen this in a limited edition before. There's been plenty of, oh, I got sucked into a VR game. Oh, I'm playing an MMORPG. What am I gonna do? There hasn't been a limited edition that does, has done this yet, which makes this pretty fucking cool. Let me open this thing up and try not to absolutely demolish this one because I would like to actually keep it. Okay, I just did a nice little slice. There we go. It's a gaming mat for like when you play like TCGs and stuff, you know, when you go to like your local card shop or like your comic book shop and you see everybody with their fucking waifu gaming mat check it out isn't this sick this is actually really fucking cool like no jokes no memeing i think this is probably the coolest thing i've ever gotten in a limited edition which is just absolutely fire we're gonna go ahead and continue opening we'll just put everything on there an absolute metric fuck ton of art cards there that's the Oh, you get a little shield sticker. Okay. Art cards are kind of the bane to my existence limited editions. I don't have any have anything to do with them and I get a ton of them. So let's go ahead and open up and take a look and see. I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of the cast. I wonder if there will be any sexy art cards, which seems to be what they go for in limited editions. Maple, maple. So this is 
what's on the cover of the the box. There you go. Then Sally, and then I'm gonna have Sally again, Yui and May. I remember the names two seconds later, and then we get them. So it's kind of like their light novel version look. Like this looks very much straight from the light novel than the anime. The light novel than the anime. Okay, and that's everything that came in. The Bofuri limited edition, once again, it's normally 90. You get it for about 68, 69. For anybody who cares about all the technical stuff, here's kind of any of that sort of information. This is of course the US release. So there you go. If you care about that, that's what came inside as we saw. And the studio behind Wise Man's Grandchild. Oh boy. I think we also did an unboxing that. So I'll link to that at the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little unboxing that we absolutely didn't destroy anything for. That definitely didn't happen. Look at this pristine limited edition, actually a uh, beautiful. So be sure to leave a like and subscribe guys. And remember, I will be posting the digital code later on on our Twitter. So make sure to follow us at The Otaku. And then uh, while you're there, follow us on Instagram too, at The Otaku. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.